what is up everybody neil here back with an android quick tip so for this tip i am going to share an easy way to create an uh or create a timer using an app called tasker so the purpose here is um so if you're like me one of two events happen um the first is that you get an hour for lunch and like me for i always forget what time i leave or what time i left and sometimes it's you know 1 10 or 12 16 and I don't want to come back from lunch um, late and no one wants to come back early but just to get an idea of how early or late you're going to be I want to have a timer to help me get back on time and help me remember because I don't always leave at a time that's on is about right and in other cases um, creating a timer so I know approximately when I came in from work and creating a timer where that reminds me that I it is time to leave work in about half an hour um, so this is more of a personal note and for those of you who might be an hourly employee and you want to make sure you don't get out um, hour overtime or you don't want to make sure you get in trouble for getting overtime or if you do need to then you have that, um, that extra time to round up your work or um, put in that quick request or whatever you need to do but create that time that reminder so that you know that it's time to leave um, soon so I've already created those two timers in this case but I'll go through a step-by-step -step process where um, the main purpose is to create that manual timer because of course, like me, I don't always start work at the same time and I don't, don't always go to lunch at the same time. So having that button is the best way to go. So once you've installed Tasker, um, I will, as I Lowe's have a that caveat that the app does cost $2 and 99 cents. So it might be worth it to find other uses as well. So, um, things like audio control or integration with pocket cast or finding other integrations with Tasker to help automate your life. Um, there are free versions that do similar things, but I found that Tasker is the um, best one to, as far as ease and simplicity and just general consistency and using it for various features. So I'm already on the tasks page, so that's the one tab that you will need to go to. And then you'll put, hit the plus sign and create a label. So I'll just create a generic label called timer and I'll hit the checkbox. And then from here, what you'll need to do is um, set up the task itself. So when you hit the plus sign again, you get a lot of categories that uh, may not be relevant or they're definitely not relevant to what we're doing here. So I'll click on filter and I'll do a search for timer and we're going to create <coughs> a system timer. You can also create a, a timer widget if you want. I haven't tested that exactly. I think that'll do an actual physical countdown, but... For me, I just want something in my notification drawer so it's easy to get to and it's out of the way. Um, so I'll go back in, I'll um, do a search for timer and I'll do select star system timer. And you'll see it's already set to 10 seconds. You can go down to 10 seconds. You can go all the way up to 86,400 seconds. And that's of course my device, so it may vary. So the other caveat is that you will need to convert whatever length of time you want into seconds. So um for the case of this example i will i'll just create a random um time so 14,673 but when you have the countdown in your android notification drawer it will show you in hours and minutes so you do have a little bit more of a general view there um you can have a message if you want um, additional information i'm leaving this blank um so from here i will exit uh, or and then the last thing here before we exit all the way out is if you want a home screen shortcut for the task you will need to have an icon set so you can have an application icon or a built-in icon um <coughs> so from here i'll just pick a random um image i'll just pick the or i think i already have something using glasses so i will um i'll pick this the panda bear and i'll exit out from here, what you will do is, um, or I'll have to unlock my desktop, but you'll create a Tasker shortcut. So you'll go into your widgets menu and scroll down to Tasker and select the Tasker shortcut. And it'll automatically pull up the menu of all of the tasks that you created. So I'll select the one we just created called timer with 14,600 uh, seconds. And I'll exit out. You'll see that it pick, or it pulls in the image already, that or the icon image already. So when you touch your shortcut, you'll see that my hourglass showed up at the top left of my notification drawer, so it automatically started. Swiping down, you'll see that it set in a timer for four hours, four minutes, and I guess around thirty seconds or thirty-five, twenty-five seconds or so. So 
the timer will keep counting down until it sets off and this works beautifully and then if you want to stop the timer or want to cancel it because you pushed it by mistake you can pause it and reset it so it goes away but now you have that shortcut set up so you can put it wherever you want so if you want it on your dock there or just up here somewhere wherever you want on your screen um if you're using action launcher then or specifically action launcher 3 you can even set it in your quick bar by going into the settings going to custom and selecting the task or shortcut and putting that in there um it may ask you for an icon depending on the one you set so you'll have to select um an, any icon there and when i exit out you'll see that it shows up and it does the same thing and it'll start a new timer for four hours four minutes and 32 seconds um so that's all there is for that uh for me i created a lunch and work timer because um for me as i mentioned for my lunch timer um, I often leave at random times and I want to, uh, remember, or I want to have enough time to leave, if I go out to lunch, that I want to have enough time to get back so I have enough time to come back and clock back in. So I have my lunch timer set for 50 minutes, so as soon as I clock out for lunch, I'll start the timer, so, and then I'll go do what I want to do, take a nap, eat food, run errands or anything like that. As soon as the timer goes off, I know that it's time for me to head back to work. And I'm usually not going anywhere that's more than, you know, five to ten minutes away anyway. So by the time I get back and clock in, um, it's about that hour long that I get. Um, and then the one that I just set up is a work timer as well. So since I'm hourly and I have my one hour lunch break, I want to get a notification about half an hour before it's time for me to leave work. So that I know it's time for me to start uh, rounding out the day finishing up uh, my end of day duties um, and things like that I often get distracted and sidetracked and that sort of thing so um, I have it set for eight and a half hours so as soon as I clock in for the day I'll I can start the timer and um, from there it'll just count down eight and a half hours it'll go off um, half an uh, half an hour before it's time to go so I know okay I need to start uh, rounding out my day uh, print out anything I need to do send out any emails that I need to send out and um, do that so pretty much straightforward there and then I you can if you have icon packs installed in a custom launcher you can set other timers so for me work and glasses seem to go and then coffee for the lunch timer so I have that set up and um, that's all there is for that and um, if you're on Android 7 it does support having multiple timers so I'll have both of them going I'll swipe down and you'll see that two timers are going on right now. So um, when I click on it, um, 49.53 and 8 hours, 29 minutes. So um, I have my the two timers going on. So in 50 minutes, one will go off. Eight and a half hours, the other one will go off. Um, so I'm going to reset all timers just so that it doesn't um, go off in the middle of the night and wake me up too early. But... That's what I really wanted to cover. It's a nifty way to get a timer going. So there are, of course, many other ways to um, use it. So if you want to create an automatic timer for, let's say, meetings, like let's say you always have half an hour meetings, or you want to set up an hourly reminder to take a walk, then you can set an hour long or set up a timer to um, go off every hour. And I think you can even um, set up the timer to repeat as well. So we can even look into that um, as well. So let's do start custom timer, uh, 10 seconds. And uh, I guess not automatically, but um, the other thing you can do as well is, um, uh, let's say you want a task to go off at a specific time. So let's say you know that at, um, you start work at the same time every day so you know that you're going to automatically clock in let's say at eight o'clock then you can say for example so you can create a time-based event and say um at let's say eight o'clock um eight o'clock you want uh um an event to happen so let's say you want your work timer to go off at eight o'clock every day um so at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, my timer will start counting down and let me know that eight and a half hour or do that countdown for eight and a half hours. Um, because I start my work at different times, it doesn't really work. But um, even if you wanted a timer for um, 
let's say just to do a countdown to remind yourself at, at 30 minutes from let's say when you get to work you need a you you know you want your timer for example to go off because you need to um call somebody or run a report or do something special then you could even do that as well um but you can you can pr create these time-based um events to happen from a certain time um to um do whatever you want to do over the um at those scheduled times as well and then even um let's say you wanted to you want to um timer to go off when you connect to your works wi-fi for example because that happens to be when you uh clock in then you can even do that as well or um start a countdown when you connect your bluetooth because when you come into work you connect to your bluetooth phone or whatever then that is um another option as well but for the sake of me um i just wanted two buttons to set up to um start timers and um have that countdown to know when to leave work and when how long i have left in my lunch break so that's all there is for that so if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can always email me at headphones at yahoo.com you can find me on twitter at patel n01 you can find this review and all reviews on youtube at youtube.com slash patel n01 and of course you can find all links um podcast episodes and all that good stuff on the web at patel n dot on. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for watching and listening and until next time.